Hello, beautiful bipeds. What's up, guy? I'm here with her, Larissa Almeida. I'm here with him, Luis Alto. And together we are Louis and Larissa. <laughs> we have a Zook partnership and we travel around and we develop things and related to Zook. And we teach Zook. And this video is about us. So we are going to answer some questions like where we were born, who are our teachers, why do we became teachers, what we are doing right now, this kind of stuff. So if you want to know us a little better, just watch this video. So let's start. Lari, where were you born? I was born in a city, in a super small city in the countryside of Sao Paulo that is called Aluminio in Portuguese, but in English it's aluminum. And I guess you don't know what they produce there. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were made with meat and bones, but you actually no. from aluminum. Yeah, I'm from aluminum. <laughs> we already listened to so many jokes. Once we went to a bakery and she said that she was from aluminium yeah. and the guy said, oh, so you were done by by bronze. Is bronze in English? I don't know. <laughs> so let's change the joke. Oh, if she's aluminium, you are silver, right? <laughs> Terrible. <I don't> know. <laughs> Sorry for my poor vocabulary in English. <laughs> <laughs> and you, where were you born? So I was born in the north of Brazil in the Amazon forest in a state called Rondonia. Yeah. Do they have a lot of wheels there? Wheels? Yeah. What do you mean? Rondons. Rondonia. <laughs> they are not going to understand this joke. I know, sorry. They don't speak Portuguese. <laughs> <laughs> Even me that do speak didn't understand. Yeah. I have a nice sense of humor. Yeah. So uh, my father and my mom, they split it and my father wanted to be a rock star. So he moved to Sao Paulo, the big city. And then after some time, my mom also wanted to move, so we came to also to São Paulo. So I was ra raised in the countryside of São Paulo, in a city called Sorocaba, that means ripped earth, because the really yeah I didn't know that terra rasgada oh, Sorocaba I didn't know that in Tupi Guarani that is a indigenous language yeah and this city is very close to mine it's like thirty minutes. Mm -hmm. That's how also we met each other, but yeah. this is for the future, not yeah. yet. <laughs> yeah, but now I live in Sao Paulo, but we travel a lot, so I have kind of Sao Paulo as a base, but more than half of the time we're traveling, right? Yeah, usually. Yeah. Cool. Next question. How do we start dancing? Oh, this is a long story, but let's make it short. Uh, I started dancing because my mom and my dad also got divorced. <laughs> so my mom was like... What is very common here in Brazil? Yeah. So my mom was like, yes, freedom, I can do whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> so I'm gonna dance because... Remember my... to put a pen in, yeah. the, in the video section. <laughs> I will. Because my dad never wanted to learn how to dance. So she went and then she took me with her. And then I was with 11 years old, using my cell phone while she was doing the class. and. I didn't want to dance because that thing, dance with another person, old people think. I was definitely not doing that. <laughs> I was like super young, super cool, you know, super popular. So I was definitely not doing dance. But I was already doing dance, another kinds of dance, like individual ballet and stuff. And then the teacher insisted me, insisted a lot for me to learn to, to do the class, and I was like, okay. So you can stop disturbing me, I'm gonna do this class. So we never talk again about this. <laughs> but then I did the class, I love it so much, and then I never stopped, and here I am. And how did you start? So, I'll, also I started with my mom, because my mom started to take full hall classes, that is kind of uh, the folk music yeah. of Brazil, right? But I didn't want to start too. Why? Because I, I as my father, I want to be a rock star when I was super young, right? So I already had a, a rock band. I used to play electric <laughs> guitar. I still play, but that time was like my yeah. main focus, you know? And here in Brazil, there's like a revival so in between rock and forró. So those they, two communities, they don't... They don't they go well it, yeah. together. Yeah. They don't go, they don't go together. They don't... <laughs> mix up. So I was from the other side, right? So for half for me was like, uh, no, you know, this, is, this, this is not song? my vibe. This is not my vibe. <laughs> and then 
I went to a birthday party, super young, so was a lot of kids of my age and there was some girls dancing and there I was with my friends and there was a beautiful little girl dancing and looking at me. It was that not time me, was guys. Playing, yeah, it was not like, that time was playing funk. <laughs> it was not, it was like such a bag. No, before it. Oh, okay. You are fucking up my joke, my, was... my history, Lady. <laughs> I'm sorry. You don't know about my life. <laughs> So, was playing funk because we have lots of music in the parties here, and the kids were like dancing, and uh, I was already looking at her, and she was looking at me, and all my friends were like, "Oh, she's looking at you, and you're looking at her." Go, so, go talk uh, to her. Go talk to her. Go talk to her. And I was super shy. <laughs> so, uh, the DJ changed the song and started to play "I Still Te Pego," that is a uh, certain issue. In yeah. certain age, you, everybody here in Brazil knows that certain age you dance with couples, you know? So, one of my little friends said, Hey, Louis, go there and ask her to dance, you know? Dance with her. So, I was like, okay, now is the time. I'm, I'm growing up, so I have to do it. So, I crossed <laughs> the saloon. I went there and they said, hey, do you want to dance with me? And she was like, oh, cool. She liked because I was brave. And she was like, okay, let's dance. And then when I embrace her, I noticed that I didn't know how to dance, you know, so I was like, okay, yeah. I just remember I never, at that time. I never got to this point, you know, so what do I do now? <laughs> what do I do next? So I kind of tried, but wasn't working, you know, I tried to, and I was like, oh, I, I think she's not enjoying it. And I started to get nervous because I was also touching her. I was like, and then I noticed that I didn't know how to dance. And I said, can you, can you teach me how to dance? And she just said, if you don't know how to dance, I cannot dance with you. And she started to like undo the embrace and kind of start to dance by herself and, and move away, you know? And I got so, so ashamed. So, <laughs> so I just like so started nice. to come back to the other side. And then, how old were by you? coincidence, my mom was already taking for hot classes and she, she tried to take me with her, but I was always saying no because it wasn't a Saturday morning. And I wanted to sleep and watch cartoons in the television. After this, I decided, yeah, let's give a chance to it. <laughs> How old were you? Uh, 11, 12 years old. Yeah. <laughs> and then I went, and when I went there, uh, the teacher gave me a scholarship to take the classes for me and my cousin. And I kind of became the, the mm. mascot. <laughs> yeah. The mascot. Yeah, I think the mascot of the school. So I started to take all the classes. He kind of adopt adopt me as a son, you know. Yeah. Uh, and then for me it was a game, you know. So you step here, you step there, you step here, you step there. And I started. I I also started to like more being around people and around around that community, you know. And I started to take all the classes and I started to have fun because I was already connected with music So it was easy to me to get the movements and all, all of the stuff and that's how I started dancing Nice Cool Next question. How do we met each other? Oh, okay. We're gonna give you guys two points of view because <laughs> <laughs> For Louis, yeah, don't I believe was, Lally. My point is the, the truth. For Louis, I was a stalker. For me, I was just in love. At, I just fell in love at first sight. So, <laughs> who you're gonna believe? You decide. <laughs> so, we were, we were, we would know each other since we were like super young. Since yeah, we like, were how, how old? Ah, uh, I think I was 12, 13 years old. Yeah. And you were wow. like 14, 15. Wow. Okay. So we were in the countryside of Sao Paulo, right? My city, Sorocaba, was kind of a bigger city. And Larissa City, aluminium, is closer to mine, but it's even smaller, you know? So there is kind of a community in between the cities in the countryside of Sao Paulo. And there was a social that used to put together all of those communities. The social yeah. was called Unidos Pela Dança, United by Dance. Yeah. I went to this social, and also Louis went. And back at the time, we didn't have many like kids we still don't um, have it yeah we didn't have many people dancing that were our age yeah so i saw him dancing across the room and then i was like oh the guy he's so cute and he's like my age you know maybe i can go there and dance with him 
just give my charm and see what happens. <laughs> and then that's what I did because I'm brave. So I crossed the room, I asked him to dance, and he said, oh, I'm leaving. I was like, damn. But then the teacher, his, his teacher, that was the guy that he was with at the social, mm -hmm. uh, getting a ride, he said, no, 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 you can dance. And then I was like, yes. And then we danced. And then I did the best that I could to, to show him that I liked him, but it didn't work. Yeah, because like I was not looking for girls at the time, you know. I wanted, I just wanted to dance. My sexuality was not was not developed at the time. <laughs> and then back at the time, I was also my teacher was also stopping to give classes to teach classes in my city, so I didn't have anywhere anywhere to go to learn. So what happened is that his teacher started to teach classes, dance classes in the city that is. Uh, neighbor city from my city and then I was like okay I guess I'll have to go there and then I started to see him every week and then we started to dance together to be friends to become friends <clears throat> and I was there still fighting to show that I liked him <laughs> <laughs> and I was like yeah I don't want a girlfriend no you didn't notice <laughs> you didn't notice <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's true I didn't notice Yeah, <laughs> and then after this, we just kept seeing each other for more and more time, and and then finally, after one year of friendship, and after one year of me showing interest in him, by him, we we started dating. Like we. Laddie was my first girlfriend. He was my first boyfriend. Yeah, we actually lost virginity together. <laughs> That's very true. I don't know if we have to say this here. <laughs> I guess we can just pee again. <laughs> we lost pee. <laughs> but today we are not a couple anymore. Yeah, that's we are right. just best friends. Mm -hmm. But with uh, after we started dating, we also started to practice more together because we were spending more time together. Mm -hmm. Then some time passed. We started teaching and not together. Uh, split. And then I saw the audition for Rubia, Rubia Frutuoso Company. That is a big name here in Sao Paulo. You already answered the future questions. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Lari, <laughs> who were your teachers? <laughs> okay, so my first teacher was Charles Matias. And he was the one that was used to come to my city, Aluminum, to teach us. But he's actually from Piedade, that is another city on the countryside. And then the second one was Rubia. Yeah. I mean, was Alex de Moraes, that is his teacher. <laughs> Sorry, I'm answering all the questions. Okay, who was your teacher? <laughs> so my first teacher was Alex de Moraes in the countryside of São Paulo, in Sorocaba. And this guy, he has an amazing skill to get people together, you know, to build that family vibe. Mm -hmm. And that's why he adopted me and he started to take me to all the socials. He started, he started to, he gave me my first job, you know, as a taxi dancer, going yeah. with him. And then he also uh, taught me how to teach in the beginning. So he gave me a course, like, how do you teach beginners? And I started to teach for hall with him. I, I started to teach the beginners when I was like 15 years old. Yeah. It happens pretty much the same with yeah. me. And then I start to also take class. Wow! So your first teacher was is your my second teacher, and your first teacher is my second teacher, and our third teacher is the same. That is Hulia. Wow! Wow! <laughs> yeah. So we pass an audition to the big city, São Paulo, to enter in the dance company, as Larry was saying, right? I was always like a big fan of Hulia, so I was like. <laughs> We, we have, they have this audition to get yeah. in the SIA and the company, let's do it! And then we went, we passed, and we stayed for three, almost three years at the yeah. company. Those are our more, how, how can I say, formal teachers that we took lots of yeah. classes together. But yeah. we started to take workshops and go to congresses True. and train with friends and also develop our own research as we train together, but yeah. those, those were so 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 important to our development mm -hmm. so thank you teachers 
Thank you, Charlie. Thank love you, Alex. Thank you, Rubia. We love you so much. We're extremely grateful for you. Yeah. So the next question is, how do we become teachers? Da -da -da -da. So I started teaching dance as I said since I was like 15 years old because I was going every day to the school and my teacher he wanted to expand so he needed more teachers so he did a course to train people to become teachers and I did this course for a few months and then I started to teach classes so yeah and then after this I started teaching Zook because I fell in love with Zook I was studying Zook a lot and then the opportunities start to show up you know we were invited to teach in some congresses we were invited to to teach some some Workshops. friends yeah and some people started to ask for privates so we started to teach yeah. also privates yeah and i always love teaching people right True. this is this is something that, that is in my personality yeah since since we started like being friends and being more connected you would always teach me stuff like doesn't matter about what about random stuff but he would always teach me something thank you teacher <laughs> you teach me so much about patience <laughs> just kidding you teach me you teach me a lot that's true hmm. okay so how did i become a teacher um when i was learning after some time after uh few years dancing and like going to a lot of classes my teacher uh, needed some help to to teach classes right so he would use me sometimes he would ask me to go to the classes so he could show the movements with me I was a fast learner so he used to call me to like hey let, let me show this movement with you so we could teach so we would train the movement before and then show in the class and then slowly I started to show for the followers too, back at the time, the movements, and then starting to introduce myself as teachers, as, as a teacher. Um, but this was never something planned. Yeah. <laughs> I just, Our just, paths just flew yeah, towards this, you know? Yeah, like they needed us, we were there, open to learn, open to yeah. teach, open to receive, so we just, it. and it was very very fun was at like, least for me i'm here the opportunity is there i'm liking it <laughs> oh things are happening ooh, ooh, ooh. yeah <laughs> that's true and, yeah actually uh after high school i planned to be a chemical engineer so that's that's what i was studying but then things started to work with zook work out with zook and i quitted the college and mm -hmm. focused 100 percent my zook journey yeah and this was the best choice that i made in my life <laughs> But you also learn a lot with But my chemical. mom didn't agree. <laughs> <laughs> but you also Hopefully. learned but you also learned a lot with chemical engineering. Oh yeah. My way of seeing dance is very physical and cartesian too. So I bring so much from my college. Yeah. From and half of it. <laughs> 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 yeah. And also that's why I feel that I connect so much with the software engineers in Zook, you know, because oh my god. Tons of leaders in Zook are software engineers. Oh yeah. And I'm Especially a engine. Just half. Engine. <laughs> Especially in the US. Luis said that he was studying chemical engineering, right? And I was very lucky because when I finished high school, it was the time that we received the invitations to travel and teach. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't have to compromise myself with anything besides yeah. traveling. But also, when I was doing high school, I was also doing a technical course about logistics. And I feel that this helped me a lot wow, to, to bring a lot of stuff to the partnership that we have now. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of things that I, a lot of ways that I see or the, that I organize stuff are from this course. Mm -hmm. So I'm also very grateful for it. Yeah, that's true. Isn't the first, Larissa's first international tour was when she was 18 years old. So that's, that's crazy. Well, she was the eight. youngest teacher to teach in one of the biggest Zook Congress here in, in Brazil that is called like Zook Day here in Sao Paulo. I, and I think I was with 17. <laughs> so next question. Lari, how have been the life as a Zook teacher, international Zook teacher? Half nomad, <laughs> half... 
Beijo. Nosso countryside. Beijo, São Paulo. <risos> countryside kid. <risos> yeah. Um, so, basically, the time that I'm not traveling, I'm staying now in the countryside. I'm living with my mom. It's amazing because I get to eat her food every day. That is so delicious. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just a note. When we were coming to São Paulo to train, we were kids, so we didn't yeah. have a driver license because here in Brazil you have to be 18 to have a driver license. So Larissa's mom used to get Lari, drive to my city, Sorocaba, get me, drive us one hour and a half to São Paulo, yeah. stay all the weekend with us in São Paulo, sleep in a dance school in air mattress with us, watch us train and then come back all every every weekend and she used to love it right yeah because she was having quality time with her yeah. child yeah so thank you so much Kong. i yeah. love you thank you and Mom. she used to to like give lunch to us oh yeah lunch to she, us, and she gave all the support all the support that, I, that mm -hmm. we needed and even the one that we didn't need yeah. <laughs> the extra ones she gave me so thank you so I'm in the countryside and then I'm coming weekly here to Sao Paulo to teach with Louis our online course Hydra <clears throat> and for me life has been very very great because I get to do lots of things that I like I get to spend time with my family too so I I have a nephew that is two years old now and I get to see him growing up and this is like extremely grateful for me I'm also studying some online courses about marketing because this is something that we want to bring more to our, to our partnership mm -hmm. and practicing together, spending some time with friends because I know that I'm going to travel very soon and I'm going to be away for so long. I'm just trying to enjoy as much as I can people from here before we start our tour again. And I love because I'm also super close to Sao Paulo that is a really big city and there's movement all the time but then whatever i want i can just come back to aluminum that is like cozy and quiet and more chill we have some fun programs to do usually not much because it's a small city but we do have some so i get the best of both worlds and for you for me so I love being traveling around because it's so, so, so nice having all those adventures spread uh, our truth to people that want to know more about dance, know more about Zook, right? But I also love to be here in Sao Paulo because Sao Paulo is a so, so, so huge cultural center here in Brazil, yeah. you know? So I do lots of different kind of stuff. So I have so many friends here and I live when I'm based here, I live in a dance school that is right where we are recording right now, that is Omni, Edgar and Nadine's dance school, that is also a place where, wow, so much things happen here, right? Yeah. So much future. I think it's the first time that this place actually is empty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, when we started traveling, what happened was, we went to US and we did some work there and then we went straight to Europe. Europe but when we were in US people started to get to know more our job so we already planned to come back to to US again and when we went to Europe the same happened so we we were going to be like back and forth in between US and Europe but when we were in Europe COVID happened, you know, so pandemic happened and everything started to close we were in London yeah. with Pedrinho so everything started to close. We bought a fly, like one of the last flights to Sao Paulo and Super we came expensive. back. Super Yeah. So we were like, with a lot of hype out of Brazil and we were in Brazil. So what we decided, let's do an online course, you know, because people want to wanna get to know our work. We cannot go outside, so let's do an online course. Yeah. And then we did our first online course. It was a counterbalance course. It was so good. And we liked it so much. So now we were doing both of those things. We were traveling around and we are also developing our online courses. And that's something that, that I really want to do because I really want us to organize our research in the internet and make it accessible for everyone, you know, and make it organized. Because mm -hmm. right now, if you, if you want to learn Zook, it's not something that organized. So I, 
I cannot get one people research and then get another people research and compare those things and yeah. go deep on it. So it's so it's very hard. But that's something that we really want to do, and that we are already doing. Yeah, and I'm loving. I'm loving doing it. Yeah, me too. So what are we working on now? What are we working on right now? So <laughs> we are pl planning our next travel that is going to be a five months travel to three different continents. So we're maybe going, four. Maybe four. <laughs> yeah. So it's not ready yet. So soon we are going to share with you guys. Uh, with you, but right now, places that are already confirmed that we're going to go is we're going to go to Australia. We're going to go to US. We're going to New Zealand and Bali. Bali and maybe we're going to extend this a little more so yeah. i'm super excited we've never super. been to australia we've never been to new zealand we've never been to bali yeah lots of new places some new cities in the u.s that we yeah. haven't been to and our tour starts in only 20 days Woo. today yeah. yeah and we are also finishing the development of our hydra head movements course that is our course about head movements so we got all our research from the beginning to all the crazy head movements that we do and we transform it in a series of videos for everybody to have it so now we are working on all the the things that we have to do to make it more accessible to show it for people that want to to get it you know yeah and also starting to plan our next courses yeah <laughs> And getting more intimate with this, you know, creating yeah. videos. Yeah. Because that's very important if you want to reach people through the internet. And that's what we want to do. We want to make more accessible the path for people to get inside Zook. You know why? Because I learned so much in YouTube. Oh my god. Oh yeah. YouTube is one of my fathers, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I learned calisthenics, I learned how to jungle, I learned how to to backflip. To back all my flips. <laughs> all your flips, true. <laughs> I think it's easier to to think what I didn't learn in YouTube. Okay, you just didn't... just this. Yeah. <laughs> but I also learned this in YouTube. <laughs> yeah. So we hope you enjoyed this video. We hope you could get to know us a little better and yeah, check our free content. Mm -hmm. Ask us questions. We would love to bring the content content through your questions. Mm -hmm. um, if you wanna know more about our courses find somewhere maybe in the comments here we'll have a link to our website or just go to the link in our bio yeah well, i hope to see you soon i hope to see you in this next travel yeah nice with you so let us know if you watch this video if you watch this video let us know if you watch this video and oh yeah so you are let's don't <laughs> you said wash again wash <laughs> yeah me. Don't forget to <laughs> wash your dishes. Don't forget to watch your dish. Don't forget to watch your hands and watch this video, right? <laughs> and see you. See you guys. <laughs>